Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Um,、mm, I'm fine today. Um, today, uh, in the morning, I successfully deploy my what's thing. I wrote a student picker small application, which is written in Spring Boot, and、uh, I want to use in my current course. But、uh, the laptop I use in the classroom doesn't have the you know Java、uh, developer environment, so I cannot run in IDE. Then I'm thinking about、uh, how to do that. I don't want to set up a new environment because that laptop is supposed to be used for all JavaScript、uh, developers. Okay.、Uh, so I I wrap. I deploy the application and、uh, in AWS, which is、uh, very successful. But、uh, before that, is、uh, in my Spring Boot application, I using something called a getter file, which is to read some、uh, files from the class path, and uh, that uh, method doesn't work. And、uh, I change, I just change the, the to using the just using the stream. And after that, it can read the files from class pass. Then I'm able to、uh, access it everywhere. I don't. I don't need to bring my laptop to the classroom anymore. So I'm pretty happy. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about、uh, the next topic. Okay. So finally, it's our time to learn the database. Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about why do we need a database. I think people already very familiar about the database. Okay, heard at least heard about the word. Okay, people. Some of my friends told me the way I pronounce database is very strange. Okay, anyway, forgive me. We are not a net. I'm not a native speaker. Okay, so why do we need? Think about the project we have done so far. Like、uh, we already finished how to do the CRUD operations on the products, right? And we also can do the CRUD operation on the shopping cart. Not、uh, exactly edit, but on the shopping cart. But you can delete to re-add. So it's kind of like CRUD operations, but. Our inf data for the products for the what thing, a、uh, shopping cart is stored in memory, which is that do you remember in the model cart dot js and、uh, products dot js we have a array there to store information, right? So that way to store the information is temporary. Everything in the memory. We have experienced a lot of times. Every time we change the code, change the code, the node moon will automatically restart the application for us. And after we start restart application, all the information is gone. So we have to start from scratch. And、uh, do you think that's a good way? Definitely, it's not a good. Think about if for some online shopping application, and、uh, definitely they're gonna add a new release or bug fix, okay, or new features in our in their application, right? Then they have to restart the restart the application. Once they restart, think about all your older history is gone, and、uh, the your、uh, your account is gone. All the things is gone. Okay, disappear. Are you happy about that? I think you won't be happy. I'm I'm not gonna happy. Okay, because I purchased that and I paid it. Okay, so this we have to make sure our data gonna be permanently stored, not temporary, like in the array. Second, we want to to easily access our data. Okay, uh, in memory is fine. You can work with object. Uh, there are other thing uh which is not a good it, like a、uh, no matter you are using in memory or you are using uh what's the thing a、uh, file system because、uh, if you want to do the permanent you can save all the data into a file like into a JSON file or other format of files but it's not easily to access suppose 
uh, we want to retrieve all the products, it's fine to through the file system. It, it's kind of fine, okay? You just grab everything from the file system. But now I want to filter. I want to only to get part of the products. I want to only get a products which is uh, produced by uh, some company and uh, under certain category, only under the computer or under the vegetables or the things. Can you easily filter if we are using a file system, which is like a JSON file or text file to store our data? Not easy. You have to load everything into the memory. Then you have to filter there, mm -hmm. which is really, really not efficient, right? And when our application get larger and larger, and we have more and more data, this is really not bad. And what's the solution? Okay, that's a solution called a database, okay? Uh, and for the database, we have two kinds, which is a SQL database and which is a NoSQL database. We have two kinds. And for our next topic, we are gonna compare the difference between SQL database and NoSQL database, okay? Okay, good, I'm done for this video, okay? Thank you for watching and uh, see you next video. Bye-bye.